you guys i leave for the bahamas at midnight and guess who has still not packed anything me so today's vlog i'm gonna take you guys along this whole packing journey as well as getting ready for the airport i feel like it's just a nice boost of adrenaline and i'm super excited okay first things first i'm gonna show you my favorite luggage ever not sponsored by the way but i will leave the link in the description box below if you want to check it out this luggage right here is my favorite luggage first of all because it's super cute and second of all it's just super convenient to take while traveling with you um it has like a combination lock and then it also has a portable charger which i think is perfect while traveling you want to make sure your things are safe and secure and also if you run out of battery you have a charger okay so far i did collect a pile of the things i'm gonna be putting in my luggage so that's a start but behind me you can see this big pile of clothes in this laundry basket i just organized this pile into different categories like bikinis bottoms tops dresses all of that so now we're gonna put them in the packing cubes so let's go and organize all of that a mess i know okay we're gonna pack my bikinis first i have about like eight or nine so i think that's pretty good for this trip this hot pink one it's super cute it has like a little hole in the middle this is the next one it's another strapless one it's this blue floral print i pack this light pink bikini as well it's just a regular triangle top polka dot bikini this matching yellow set it has this texture on it which is really cool i have this blue one and the top has a tie for the shoulders also bringing this green one it's textured and then it has like a ring in the middle which is cool matching bottoms i also have the same one in orange so i think i'm just gonna pack this too also just packing some extra pieces black bikini top and it has a ring in the middle some white bottoms this is literally filled to the brim but that's the reason i like packing cubes because no matter how much you pack in here it's just gonna compact it all together which is easier to fit inside the suitcase next we're gonna pack my tops i think i might combine my bottoms with the tops because this packing cube is a little bit bigger so the first one is this brown top it's really cute and textured and it basically just cuts down the middle and this one is an orange top it's a nice little crop top this one is a black top it looks like this it has like a cross in the back which i really like i like the texture on the shirts which is why a lot of the things that i'm bringing have texture on them this one is like a triangle top and this next one is similar to the one i just showed it's basically the same thing but in this blue and white print and it has a little bit of lace on the top cinched up here it's really flattering I like the quality on this one it's really thick has nice material in the front and then the sleeves are really nice on this one too and then the last top i'm bringing is similar to the orange one it basically just looks like this and then it's backless really cute and dainty i didn't pack much bottoms just because i'm also bringing dresses so i have these black denim shorts they're kind of like a lighter wash and then these green flowy shorts and these are my favorite pants lately they're these white parachute pants i really like them because they're super breathable and even though they're pants it just feels really lightweight when i wear them so it's just easy to put on and match with tops being this kind of like paper bag looking skirt but it's actually short so it just looks like a skirt but nice and flowy so those are all the tops and bottoms i'm gonna go pack them into this packing cube all right this fit perfectly this is all ready to go we're gonna pack my dresses now and i think this size of a packing cube is perfect so let me show you the dresses that i'm bringing we're gonna start off with my favorite one because i think it's so pretty but it's this purple ruffly dress and it has kind of like this cross type of top i really like it it's really cute i think this would be nice to go to dinner or even on the beach something like that but packing this one bringing this set it's a black midi skirt with this black tube top 
this dress it's more of a longer dress but it has this top so it basically kind of has like an open back and sides with it this last dress is a halter dress as well um kind of similar to the first dress but it kind of crosses right here and then goes around your neck okay this fit all in here and i'm telling y'all if you guys are not on the packing cube grind you need to get on it because when you think things are not going to fit in your luggage it just magically fits into these pouches which is amazing so now we're going to pack my pjs so i'm just going to do this set of like satin pjs it's short and then it has this long sleeve top this is such a cute pj set i think this is my favorite pj set because it gives like get ready with me vibes you know what i mean like the clean look like this gives such a clean look um, we're gonna pack this set of pjs it's just this plaid print really cute and then it comes with a long sleeve as well these brandy shorts these are my favorite shorts to wear for lounge okay so that's mostly everything i do have some cover-ups but i'm gonna pack them in like this zippy part of my luggage um let me show you them real quick but it's just these kind of cover-ups for bikini tops i really like them because it's kind of like a see-through material it's very light you know um perfect for the beach this one is kind of the same concept but it is more cropped i'm very happy that i got this done and it's time for my favorite part which is sitting on the luggage and closing it up whoa it's like a surfboard and she's packed let me show you what i use for my lashes because it's such an easy process and you don't have to spend all that money like you would getting extensions because i used to be a lash extensions girl and even though they look nice it costs a pretty penny and i'm just not down to spend that like every couple months so we're gonna do these from home and i basically use falscara if you're familiar with falscara it comes with a bond and a seal so the bond is to stick it seal is to like seal them and then an extra step is the overnighter you basically just line um like this part of your lashes and it makes them waterproof but i've tried it with only this and it's also waterproof too so i'm gonna put this on though because the resort i'm going to is a water park it's called atlantis so it has like a bunch of water slides and i think that this would help them stay on better you also just need lash clusters you could get them literally anywhere amazon is a really good place to get your lashes but i usually get them in a set of 8 to 16 length just so that you can customize your lashes the way you like them you can do my lashes off camera for the sake of this video but if you do want an in-depth tutorial on how to do lashes at home definitely comment below and i can make a video on that the lashes are done i really like how they turned out it didn't take too long either it's probably like 20 minutes so now that my lashes are done i'm going to go ahead and tint my brows so for my brows i use this i got this off amazon it's basically a tattoo tint that you just peel off you just have to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so i'm gonna go apply this on my brows and let it sit okay so this is how the tint looks like on it looks really crazy and really dark but once i take it off it doesn't look super bold and dark it looks more natural but we're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and then i'm gonna peel it off
Okay, it's time to take off this brow tint. I usually just peel it off like this, or sometimes I use a tweezer to peel it off. It like tints it so nicely. And just like that, tinted, nice, and it doesn't look too bold. It saves me so much time, and yeah, I'll link it down in the description box. This is the backpack that I'm bringing. Firstly, put my iPad in here. Put my skincare tech gadgets, a wallet, some gum, and then I usually always bring two lip glosses with me whenever I go out. So I'm gonna pack those as well as a hair tie. Hey guys, it's currently 10.30 and I leave at midnight. So I have most of my stuff packed except I took out some of my chargers from my backpack so that I could charge my phone and airpods and all that but as i'm waiting for that i think i'm going to take maybe an hour nap hour and a half just so that i could recharge because i do feel a little bit tired as for now peace out because i'm so tired morning y'all i just woke up that was a really good nap but i'm gonna change and then pack my chargers and bring all my stuff downstairs so we could be out of here soon here's the airport fit i'm wearing shorts because when i go to the airport i feel like i get really hot for some reason so i wanted to just feel like breathable in the plane so i'm wearing this lululemon scuba cropped jacket i have like a cropped top under it's like a white crop tank top and then i'm wearing these white shorts just like a neutral outfit and then i'm gonna wear this with my yeezy slides with socks and then here is all my stuff it's already go all packed i have my backpack and then i have my carry-on luggage which has all my clothes and all that so we're ready to go Hey guys, we finally went through security, we got all of our stuff checked, we checked our bags in, all of that. Um, it was scary at one point because we were walking and the whole airport went like pitch black. Like the power went off and it was super scary, but we're all good now. It was a little bit chaotic, but we finally made it. All we need to do is just go to our gate and wait to board our flight. See, I'm telling y'all, it's pitch black in here. The power is out, which is crazy. We're at our terminal, but all the power is out, so um, we can't go on the plane because the plane doesn't have any lights in it, and they also can't check us in because power is down, so we're just waiting it out. Our flight's supposed to be at 5, it's already 4.54, and we're not even boarding yet, so it's okay. Power's back. Everyone's so happy. Everyone's like including me. We made it on the plane. Big trip was standing up in the ocean. Everybody trapped, we get home.